I thought I'd go live um, on TikTok for the last half an hour because I was on Instagram for about an hour and a half. And that was really cute and sweet. But I thought, let me just go on Instagram. Hi. Oh my gosh, people are here already. That's so cool. Um, Gosh, maybe TikTok is the vibe. Hello. Um... I'm sort of just here to research about uh, my podcast. It's By the Fire podcast where I talk about mythology from across the black diaspora. And basically Kofi, which is the platform that I use to have my extra stuff, um, my exclusive stuff. They have a challenge this um, month, which is the Glow Up Challenge, which is basically showing, you know, how you glow up from when you started creating to now. So when I first started creating the podcast, I sort of spoke about um, just information that I saw online. But now what I'm going to be doing, what I've been doing is making my own original stories. And I used to write when I was like in primary school, when I was like eight, nine, ten years old. And I used to write on Wattpad. I don't know if that book is still there, but it was kind of kind of weird. It was too serious for someone who was like 15 and writing stuff about such things. And um, yeah, I just thought um, I would just come on live and hold myself accountable and focus. But well, I can't believe there's people here already. Hi. I don't really know how TikTok Live works. I'm going to like figure it out. But yeah. Right now, I'm writing the story. It was about the silk cotton tree of Jamaica and Ghana and many other countries in the Black Diaspora. And yeah, I thought, I've got until 10 o'clock. I'm going to see how much I can write. I'm telling myself, can I write 500 words? Well, can I write up to 500 words? So basically, can I write about 250 words in half an hour? It's actually not that hard. Um, I just have to focus. So yeah, I don't really know how to interact with people. Um, uh, Q and A, I guess. Uh, sure, I don't know. I actually don't know how this works. Guess my age. Okay, I don't know how people write. I can't see anyone write comments. Do people know how old I am? Uh, think of the way. I'm also listening to some nice lo-fi hip-hop because that was the soundtrack to my revision journey when I was studying. When I was studying, so how old am I? Again, I can't really see people's comments. I don't know how this works. <laughs> oh, it's a vibe though. Makes me want to freestyle, but like I'm supposed to be working, so okay. No guesses, just vibes, but cool. What makes you happy? What makes you guys happy? Guys and gals. What makes me happy? Getting home on time, the bus coming on time getting to work on time. Um, mango makes me very happy. And my family and my friends make me happy. My boo makes me happy as well. Uh, yeah. Share this live, I guess. <laughs> 
please. Mm. Speaking of mango, I'm literally like writing mango in my story right now. Just something that makes you. If someone offered me a mango right now, actually saying that, I actually do have a mango right here. Not sure what it's doing down there, but I've got a mango that I wish someone would just cut for me. But I'm working in another city right now, so it's just me. To filter your comments, I don't know how to do that. Oops. thing you can't live without my phone <laughs> oh my gosh like my phone is always in my hand it's always and always know where it is that's why i always have to bring my charger up because i cannot imagine not having my phone wow but yeah what are you guys I'm hoping to release this um hoping to release this episode at some point. Yeah. Hopefully at some point next week. Depends on if I'm focused and stuff.
light hold your ex jesus christ first of all i don't have an ex second of all not relevant what do you spend your money most on travel oh my gosh i've got a rail card and yet traveling by train in the uk is ridiculously expensive i'm literally on the train line right now i should be writing but i'm looking at train journey because i always just travel across the country and bro yeah nah 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 expensive as hell expensive as hell what would you do first if you won the lottery <sighs> save like save a huge chunk in a fat ISA that will give me like a big interest return yeah that's what I'd do first save like the least half just chuck it away yeah if time was frozen for 24 hours that's all I do probably fuck all probably nothing I'd actually just enjoy like not having the expectation to have to do something like oh gosh you know it's almost 10 o'clock I need to do this or it's almost 11 I need to get ready for bed or it's almost 12 I should be asleep like if time was frozen and I live in it you know without thinking about the future which is like says a lot about myself I think that's why I always I always find the evening goes too quickly and work goes too slow because I want to enjoy the nothing in the evening and I feel like work I don't want to be at work you know <laughs> who wants to be at work but okay but on a nice note I'm almost at my goal 500 words shout out to me I can't believe if I do this like every day I might actually be on it I might do this again tomorrow actually Friday I think I will this has been nice wow oh hi there's someone I know hello <laughs> what would you do if time was frozen for 24 hours basically I'm writing um a story for the Kofi challenge um which is called glow up Kofi glow up challenge um basically it's where um you just show the glow up in your creation so when I first started the podcast I was like sort of just reading information that I found but now I'm making my own stories so and I've released some already and I'm just going to show that glow up by making a story based on the very first episode so sort of like a two-year full circle oh thank you yeah I'm on this live on Instagram but TikTok is kind of a vibe and um I'm on this live because just to hold myself accountable like sit down I've been on a live I've been on live since eight o'clock on Instagram then I came over here about 15 minutes ago and I have done quite a bit since then so I'm glad that I can focus because yesterday I did nothing when I got back I did a bit of like dancing but that was it but I had stuff I had to do so I was like ah thank you thanking you how are you how's life what are you up to apart from the usual stuff Um, but yeah I'm gonna go in about 15 minutes because I actually do want to have another chill night oh bless you go I feel you I feel you like then before yesterday I was doing nothing I was literally like on YouTube listening to renaissance um instrumentals and singing and I was like why am I doing this why am I doing this when Beyonce hasn't even released the visuals does she deserve my streams
invites to join live. I don't even know what that means. I don't want to run. Tell you and that album, it has a grip on you. Yes. Yes. Because I was listening to the... I was watching someone's... Someone's reaction to the album. I was reacting to their reaction. And I was like, wow. This is her best album. This is my favourite album of hers. Like, I can't wait to be 41. And like be that comfortable in life you stand i'm telling you now i've got i've started a state a fund i started a monster saving pot for her album <gasps> you didn't like the album oh wow i can't wow that's so sad i can't believe it what's your what's your favorite <gasps> now you need to listen again you need to listen again because first impressions never like First impressions is never the one. Like when I first heard it, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it, cause like that kind of music isn't really my genre. I like it, but I would never choose it. You're a ballad fan. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, no. Maybe you should listen to Iron Touch and Fears. <laughs> oh no, I needed, I needed a good time. I think I was like, you know what? I need an album where I can dance to. Um, I need an album where I feel like I've been married to my man for 20 years and I can express love. And this is the album. Yes, but not this one. Wow, that's crazy. This is literally like my, like, <sighs> she comes both. Yeah, that's my album for real. There's uh, 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 stopping me. I listened to the clean version of the album recently, and I was like, wow, like it's still so nice, even though it's the clean version. Um, such a cute thing to say. You're a cute thing to say. Hush, ciao. I'm actually writing Hush Child in this story. Hush Child. <laughs> Gosh, the fact that I'm not just writing this, but I'm going to say it as well. I am not even going to try the accents because this isn't even an American story. So I don't know why I'm saying that. Screaming. Good night, love. Good night. Thank you for hopping on. Have a great night and great evening. Good luck with work tomorrow. It's Friday. Make sure you have a lovely weekend, okay? Storyteller Ken, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. And send me my receipt when you can so I can claim it as an expense. <laughs> anyway, Storyteller, you know it. If you don't know me, who I am. By the Fire podcast, available on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcast, YouTube. Oh, screaming. Thank you. Yeah, I need it for my content. <laughs> but yeah, um, yes, please listen. I've been on a creative hiatus because I am, the work is kicking me, but I'm getting there, getting back and getting better. So I'm just trying to balance life. Invite to join life. No, 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 no. I don't understand the language, so I'm not going to invite you to join my life. Might I suggest you don't mess with my sis? Where do I want to go next? Where next and why? Japan. The next holiday is going to be a mad holiday, like a big holiday, like... Oh, she's out. So, Japan. And my friend is there as well. So, I want to go see her as well. Two lies and one truth. Damn. Oh my gosh. Am I going to finish this in time? I've got eight minutes. Sugar. Let me stop talking now.
Use a sticker. I'm not sure how to do that still. I'm not sure how to do that one still. Watch me work. That's more like it. I'm working. My, I'm not in my city vibe. my 500 goal but you know what it's been kind of nice I have written quite a bit today
FBI joined, scary stuff. Don't wonder if I'd done this chat, please. So basically, I'm doing some writing. Anyone noticed how like loud the MacBook is? Like, if I just start writing something, like I'm just getting inspired for the last two minutes. It's so loud. Hear right, here how loud this is, please. Just like that, it is almost nine o'clock. Amazing. Oh, almost nine o'clock. It's really almost ten o'clock. Well, guys, that was me two hours working. I was on Instagram at first, but then I went off because. I thought, let me try TikTok for the first time. And it was kind of cool. I don't really get it, but I'll keep at it. Um, have a lovely night. It's 10 p.m. right now. And I'm going to switch off. I'm kind of tired. And I have work in the morning. So, yes. Um, By the Fire podcast, available on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, YouTube. Yes, where I talk about... Um, what do, I, what do I talk about? I talk about black mythology from across the black diaspora and I now write my own stuff. So if you're interested, check it out and follow me on my socials. It's the same as by the fire on underscore pod. Night, night.